Okay, so some Dutch Bros drinks. These are Dutch Bros mochas. And so each one of them is about two cups. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that on there too. Dutch Bros had a punch cards. You buy 10 drinks and you get one free. They were phasing out the punch cards and putting in an app system. So you had to use up all your punch cards by a certain date. My sister had more than 50 free drinks worth of cards. So we decided to get them all and freeze dry them. And this is part of the freeze drying. And I'm going to add a thermometer in that. By adding the strut, then I don't scratch up the end of there. And I can still pour it into there, push it into there. I'm going to use this to hold that. Dutch Bros is a chain of coffee stands started by a couple of brothers in Southern Oregon in the early 90s. Now they have hundreds of stands going all the way over to Texas and Oklahoma. All right, and then that can go into the freeze dryer. I haven't been to a lot of Dutch Bros, but I've been to a few. And every time I've been to one, it always seems like the music's going and that the people working there are having a great time. And I think it really shows in the service you get. It's not like the other big coffee places. Ideally, the thermometer would be about one-third from the bottom. I need to make some kind of jig so I could actually hit that spot each time. Okay. All right, so into the freeze dryer. All right, here it is. Okay, it said it was done, but I'm going to let it go a while longer. The top two thermometers say about 120, but the bottoms only say about 90. I think the top two thermometers are too high in the food, so they're not giving an accurate reading. I don't know if I can show that very well. And they all should be about the 120, 130 range by now. So I'm gonna leave it in there a little while longer. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, the Dutch Bros drinks should be done now. I'm going to open the drain valve and let the air in. I'm going to hit the no defrost button. Okay. As the items in the freeze dryer get dry, the temperature is going to go up. So if I've got the tray temperature set for 120 degrees, the food should make it up to about 120 degrees. 
and because the inaccuracies of turning on and off the heater, it actually ends up usually going a little bit higher. So because I had the thermometers in there, I could see through the door and check the temperature of the, of the four trays. And I could tell that they weren't done because some of them were still down at 70 or 80 degrees instead of making it up to 120. And part of that is I don't have the thermometer in the right spot at all of them because the coldest spot is near the bottom layer, not near the top. And I had the thermometers too high in some of them. So that gives a false high reading because the top actually gets warmer than the middle. I'm going to use the little folding or roll up uh, cutting mats. Oh, that way I can kind of crush them into that. Okay. And with these, also to make sure that I don't introduce any moisture as I crush them up a bit, I'm going to wear gloves. And now finish them all up. With them all bagged, I'm going to add a oxygen absorber to each one of them and then heat seal them. I'm using the heavy 7 mil Mylar bag. Uh, these are the one quart ones, which are actually like only three quarters of a quart. But they're a nice bag. Okay, and those are done. This time I'm going to put all eight of them in one bag or two bags, I'm going to combine them all, crush them, and then you could scoop them, but that way the strength could be adjusted easier. First, I'm going to break in half just to ensure that everything is nice and dry. Oh, it's really pretty inside, all crystals. So I'm going to get all of them in there. There's a lot more solids than I expected in a cup of, of this stuff. Okay, let's see how much that is. 551 grams. So then we'll be able to divide that by the eight cups worth. Oh yeah, yeah, 16 cups, eight, eight, I was thinking eight, uh, two cup units. Yeah. And you could use a food processor or something. Okay, so all powdered up. I want 272 and a half grams approximately in each bag. Yeah, this would not have ever happened without all those Three Dutch Brothers cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be nuts. I mean, who, how why would you ever buy 50 of them at one time? I don't know. That would I be wouldn't. crazy. Now, oh, I don't have half grams on here, so I'll stop at 272. And when it's bouncing a little bit, so that's got to be really close. I'll put this, make sure that this one tears out the same. And it does. And then I'll leave the scoop in the bag. Wahaha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> now, i do the same thing on that one. And then we can weigh that and see how much we lost in the powder. 
less than a, not more than a gram or so. Yeah. Really close. Okay, and a scoop for that bag. And I like it. And then oxygen absorbers and then seal. All right. And with the oxygen absorber, close it up. Squeeze out any extra air. 